everybody? It is Life's Apprentice. Today we're going to be showing you guys how to properly start your courses for shingles. Now, every, pretty much all shingles are going to be the same um, as far as laminated or architectural shingles. One thing I would recommend if you're ever wondering or worried or concerned that what you're doing is proper or improper, read the package of the shingles. Every bundle of shingles that I've ever seen in my entire life has detailed instructions on how to start courses, how to do valleys, how to do ridge. They have it all right on um, the package. So what I'm going to show you is how we do it. Um, we are using Atlas products. Um, these are Castlebrook Lifetime Architectural Shingles. And uh, we're going to start with these. Now, one thing that you can do, um, we are starting on this side right where I'm at um, and going that way um, one thing that you can do we're gonna cut these with a hook blade you can do it with a straight blade I've seen people cut them with snips um, there's, there's lots of ways you can do it so what the manufacturer is recommending is a six inch offset on every course so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take one and another gauge that you can use on a normal knife this knife is about roughly six inches, so we want to be five to maybe seven inches. Um, six inches exactly is recommended, but as long as you're close, within an inch, um, this will work for you. So, we've taken a full shingle, we have cut about six inches off, and we're going to go to the next shingle, we're going to take another full shingle. We're going to place that on there. We're going to go another six inches. Now you don't have to do it this way where they're pre-cut. Um, but you can. So then we're going to take this shingle. We'll place it on here. We will go roughly six inches again. What this is going to give you is the start to your stair step. So can you see how these shingles lay out? Um, we have roughly a six inch offset. We have a six inch piece, a 12 inch piece, um, an 18 inch piece, and a, is that the wrong one? So we have a 6, a 12, an 18, you know, a 24, and then a, a, a 30 inch piece. And this will be, this is our starter shingle here. And what we're going to do is, so that we can start with a full shingle, we're going to start with a 6 inch piece. to the edge I'm hanging it off about a I don't know a half of an inch maybe that's not completely necessary and then we're gonna nail this and our nail pattern is very important so we're gonna put one on the end about an inch if you're four nailing so if you four nail you're gonna have to look at you know your manufacturers warranty and stuff like that you can four nail or six nail so with a four nail, you're going to put one on each end and then another one about 12 inches in. For a six nail, it's going to look like that, okay? Um, this is a six nail pattern. And then we're going to start with a full course. Um, so this is a, a full shingle. So a four nail is going to look like this. You're going to put one there, one there one there, one there. Now that's a four nail. If you want to do a six nail, your six nail is going to look like that. Um, the, main, the main thing that we want to make sure that we do, because we know that we're going this way, and here's our next course, is we want to make sure that the nails here and the nail here, we want to make sure that our seam ends up in the middle of those nails. 
We don't want any nails anywhere near our keyway here. So we're gonna bring this next course down. You can see we have about a six inch offset. I'm just running this flush with the D edge over here. And then our nail pattern is gonna change a little bit every time as these pieces get smaller. So we know our next seam is gonna be right here. So we wanna make sure that our next seam does not land where those nails are. Next course, notice the nails. We're gonna to wanna to do the same thing with this and we're just, as these get smaller, our nail's gonna change a little bit. We're gonna put one there, one there, one there, one there. Now we know that this is open. We don't have to worry about nails being in that keyway. Same on this one, a nail there. And then over here, I'm gonna put a nail and a nail, leaving this open. As we run our courses up, same thing. This one, put a nail on the end, nail there, nail there. Now our last and final course, the nail pattern doesn't really matter because a full shingle is gonna cover this. So what I do is I'll put one there, one there, and if you want, you can put one in the middle. So now we're gonna go back down to the bottom and we're going to show you um, kind of what we do from here. Start with our full courses. Just like this. Um, if you four nail, I'm gonna four nail like that. Um, if you want a six nail, you can six nail. However you guys decide to do that, that's completely up to you and kind of irrelevant when it comes to starting shingles. The nail pattern is a whole nother argument and story here. So, I five nail a lot. Making sure that we're leaving this open for our seam. point where we're going to be running a full shingle again so you can see how I nailed this these nails really are kind of irrelevant on this particular piece but over here they are so you can see this nail got a little off I should be a little closer to the edge but either way we have four to six inches from the nails to this keyway so we're going to start with a full course again We're gonna nail this like a, a normal full shingle. And then we're gonna, the way that I do it, I showed you the first one were pre-cut. Now these ones, I am just going to cut it right on the edge. So you can see where it's overhanging here. And I'm just gonna cut that. And we know that this will be my finishing piece up top. We're just going to continue, continue that offset roughly six inches. Changing our nail pattern slightly on every shingle as we get smaller. Now you see I have a six inch piece and a 12 inch piece. right you see how that ended up if you do this right you essentially will end up perfect every time no waste you 
and that's it. You can kind of see how our offsets, now they're not exact, every single one. <coughs> but we're, they're within the parameters that the manufacturer is looking for. If you guys are really, really worried about exactly six inches, you're going to want to measure your shingle. Um, I don't do that. Um, technically, that is the proper and the right way to do it. Um, but you want to just stay within these parameters. And your nails, how your nails land is really important. And that's why this six inch off offset and the nail pattern is so important. Otherwise you're gonna have leaks. If you end up with a nail right here on this seam, it will leak. Um, I've seen it many times and it'll rot, rot your plywood out. But that's it for this one. Um, if you guys have questions, leave them down in the comments. If you could hit the thumbs up button, that would be really nice. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. I will see you on the next one.